today I want to discuss something that we do in our uh, garden spot every year after the season is over for certain plants such as squash plants and zucchini plants <clears throat> after they've reached that peak and the harvest is done diminished and they're putting on very few blooms I will go ahead and pull these guys up compose a lot of people though however leave them in their garden spot and uh, I really think that's a bad idea and I'm going to fix and show you why. We pull these up here this evening. I just let them sit here and wilt because I didn't want to drag them out of the yard until I had a chance to go over them. And uh, as you can tell, even though they've quit producing fruits and vegetables, you're still getting the bugs. Squash bugs. So, I know a lot of gardeners out there are going to say, <coughs> well, I'm going to leave those plants out there and I'll cut them into my soil and it's going to enrich and, and make my soil more uh, fertile and it's just decomposing like mulch. All right. That's one reason why we do not mulch around plants. That's also one reason why I do, uh, I'm not a real big fan of the uh, back to Eden gardening where everybody brings in mulch is because when these plants finish their phase of growing and they're not putting any produ or produce out, no vegetables or anything like that, they're nothing more than incubators for next year's pests. Uh, get them out of your garden. Dispose of them, burn them, throw them in a garbage bag, put them in you know, the, a brush pile, whatever you need to do, but do not leave these things sitting in your garden. Because what's going on right now is these squash bugs and everything else was flocking to the stems. All right, now, just because it doesn't put fruit or vegetables on it does not mean insects aren't going to get on it. Very few of the bugs actually attack the vegetables or the squash. The small fish, squash borer being one. But the main majority of the problems are with your plants, your root system, your stems, your leaves. That's what they're laying their eggs on. And this little guy was covered in eggs yesterday. So we went ahead, I cut him, I let him sit right here. And in a second, I'm going to take him over here and, and chunk him into a water, let the little fish eat what they want off of it, and then the rest of it will decompose and settle to the bottom. However, what you want to do is just rip these guys up. And you want to kick this dirt around and expose it to sunlight. Now yesterday I done this and bugs were everywhere. Squash be or squash bugs were everywhere and I got to thinking to myself, <laughs> now if that is just around the leaves that had gathered around the plant, what do you think that back to Eden gardening does? And here's more of them right here. I mean this here's your guys. You know, uh, so basically, when this plant serves its purpose for me, it's out of here. I'm going to rip it up. I'm going to do away with it. Same thing with the cucumber vines. Same thing with the tomato plants. Once they quit producing, I'm getting them out of here. I'm disposing of them because this right here is prime nesting ground for next year's pest. So do yourself a favor, pull these things up whenever they're through with their growing season and dispose of them. Uh, I usually let mine set 24 hours in the same spot and most of the times the bugs will get on it and stay there and I'll bring something down here, a plastic bag or something of that nature, stuff them in it and I'll dispose of them. This year we're just going to throw them in the creek and be done with it. Now this right here is our second uh, growth of squash that we put out. This is zucchini and squash is right behind me. The zucchini tends to do better in the fall months. So that's why we, we replant this right here. Uh, it's going into the last part of July. So about middle of next month, we'll start harvesting on this plant and it'll do us for a couple weeks after that. Then the heat just gets too hard on it and it'll slowly kind of die away. 
However, what you want to do is you want to take into consideration we pulled those plants up from over there that's quit blooming, quit growing, and we want to protect these. Now, by pulling those plants up out of your garden, you are removing those eggs, those bugs that were on there, and you're throwing it away, discarding it, whatever. So that breeding ground's gone. Now we just have to concentrate on this. That's why I always tell people to remove those old plants once they start uh, or once they quit producing because they're of no use to you. They're not going to enrich your soil anymore. They're not going to bring no nutrients back in that soil. They are just a laying spot for more eggs. And a bug's not going to travel three miles down the road to the neighbor's garden. It's here. This is its territory. This is where it's here to stay at. It's going to lay. It's going to be in the ground. So get rid of those plants as soon as you can. Dispose of them and start your other crop. These aren't looking that bad. Full of blooms. A lot of male blooms right now. Female blooms will be coming out. And we're going to get down here this evening time and kind of weed this area out. It rained again last night, so we're not going to get to do too much. But as you can see behind me, the okra sure is kicking up. Growing good. We've got corn that's over 12 foot tall now. Can't complain about that. If I can keep the squirrels and the raccoons off of it, we may be able to harvest some of it. But there's the corn. Let me get y'all situated right here. So it's it's gotten up there pretty good. We're getting some decent size ears on it. This is the GS90, pretty good corn. We've pretty much lost that corn right there to squirrels and raccoons, but that, you know, that's how it goes. The potatoes have died out, and as soon as this ground dries up a little bit, we're gonna get down here and run a shovel through them, see what we come up with, and uh, I believe we'll do pretty good on the potatoes this year, and I'm hoping that the corn does pretty good. So, that's about an update for this spot. But the season's coming to the end. Okra, watermelons, cantaloupe, corn, they're still doing pretty good. Um, cucumbers, things of that nature, they've done played out. So it's time to start thinking about bush hogging what we got, pulling up the plants, disposing of them, and getting ready for the fall crop. So, never ending story, just a lot of weeds down here we got to tend with. But anyhow, Hey, listen, if you're not a subscriber, feel free to subscribe to us. Leave us a comment. <clears throat> if I can't get back in touch with you quickly, just give me a day or two, and I'll go through the comments, and uh, we'll answer anything you've got on there. But for Garden Rebel, I'm out here today. I'm going to go in and enjoy the recliner for a little bit. So until next time, y'all have a great week, and hopefully I'll see you next time back down at the garden spot. Slap the tater on it, boys. We're done. Here's what we wound up with. Mostly tomatoes. But uh, we got some green beans down the bottom. A little bit of uh, habanero peppers. And a few jalapenos. But whew, I'm about tomatoed out. <laughs>